Hello you boys and girls, my name is Hotsusi and welcome back to another day in Minecraft without mining as we do in this series. And apparently you quite enjoy me struggling with coming up with uh, builds that look interesting uh, and uh, are quite challenging for me. That's why today we will shift gears a bit and do something I'm pretty confident I can pull off right off the back and this is basically having another smeltering array because here we added or once we added the uh, filters we only can smelt well we can smelt anything but if I want to smelt something else and get the smelted goods i have to stand in here in the cold water freeze my ass off so that's a bit uncomfortable that's why we will add another array here in this direction and another aspect that we have with this array is it's powered by blaze rods very good but it also has a bit of a drawback if we have low quantities that we want to melt, uh, then maybe some auto fuel would be, uh, would be better because if we smelt one item in here, that will use up a whole blaze rod. So I think for this new setup, we will go with a bamboo powered, um, uh, smelter but otherwise everything will stay the same because this setup is working um, the unloading is working quite happy with that the fueling is working uh, what we maybe changed a bit is the, uh, the input because uh, we have different needs there uh, this one automatically uh, works or sends the, the card off uh, if it is full uh, and uh, we have items in here backed up. But if we have the situation where we don't uh, smelt uh, five stacks in total or more, um, then we, we want to also uh, have a solution for that all right um i think i will do the, the first part with uh, with the with the smelting array unloading loading and so on and then we can have a look at how it's different to uh, what we already have here we have the brand new bamboo farm um new design I tried out and the basic concept is the same as we have over there in a small version uh, but here we let the bamboo grow higher up to 12 blocks because the bamboo grows at 12 to 16 blocks and we t detect that there at the top with observers and we have multiple along the way here uh, and then basically we uh, bring down the signal um, with uh, some walls uh, which uh, flip when uh, this block is powered and this trap door flaps and then of course down below there is the, uh, the collection and you can see uh, when the there is something in those mine cards they are getting emptied out here and 
uh, everything ends up in this chest down here, which is then the filling chest for the uh, fuel system for the furnace array. Uh, there it comes back. It was not that much. And over on the other side, we have the uh, uh, fuel uh, or the, the input mine card for the things that we want to smelt. And then down below, uh, we have this system like we had already over there for everything that is smelted or falls otherwise into this water stream down here. And I think just one setup will not be enough to fuel this completely. So I will add another one right next to it. And that will then be the building size of uh, this one here. And then we will have the same thing on top of here. So we could then have two buildings that are kind of uh, the, the, the same height. Uh, and I will have to think of uh, something uh, to build here that looks good and a bit uh, different. Will definitely not be uh, some giant glass towers, but you can see height wise we are similar to our village training hall and our storage system so this fits in nicely here but that's it for today as uh, always i will i will finish this uh, this farm this build up till the next time and then we can turn our attention to something else hope you liked it and uh, i'll see you soon with another day in Minecraft. Goodbye!